Hey what's up guys this is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a filter to your list views. So I'm going to add a small edit text field at the top of a list view and then give the user the ability to filter the, the results. So I'm going to carry on from my list view tutorial where I just had a, uh, I'll, I'll run it to remind you what it was. It's just a simple list view, um, it's got some names in it just like this. So we're going to add a filter on the top of this. All right, so first thing we want to do is go into our activity main, and we need to add an edit text field on the top where we can type in something to search. Okay, so I got an edit text field at the top here. I named it search filter, and it's just going to sit above the list view here. So we're done in activity main. Let's go back to main activity, and we need to declare our edit text field. So we'll just call it uh, we'll call it the filter. Easy enough. Now we're going to take our filter and do add text change listener. It's actually very easy to uh, set a filter if you're only using strings anyway. So new text watcher and all we need to do is edit in before text changed or sorry on text changed. So just do main activity dot this to reference the context and then our adapter which is here. Oh we're going to have to declare a global adapter actually. So we can take this just replace it with adapter and then go up top and we'll declare our adapter up here. So just say array adapter. I guess we can go private since everything is going to be in main activity. And then we just type our adapter down here, get filter and filter and then pass our character sequence. Okay, that should be actually all we need. Uh, this might cause a runtime exception. We'll see. If, if it does, we'll have to surround it in try catch, but we'll see how this goes. All right, so let's type something to search. And we can see it's working. So I kept typed an M, we get Mitch and Mohammed. Let's type a B, we get Blake. And let's type a J and we get Jess. That's it for this tutorial. Just a short and sweet sort of introduction to using a filter search. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.